Medulloblastoma is the most common type of malignant cancer of the central nervous system among children. Although the survival rate upon treatment can be as high as 50 to 80 percent, survivors of childhood medulloblastoma often develop physical and cognitive impairments later in life. In a recent study, researchers from Canada analyzed the health records of 230 medulloblastoma survivors from Ontario who had been diagnosed with the disease before turning 18. They compared several indicators of physical and mental health between survivors and matched healthy controls. The researchers found that childhood medulloblastoma survivors had a 21-fold higher risk of death compared to healthy controls. They also had a drastically higher rate of experiencing stroke or hearing loss and filing for disability claims. A higher proportion of medulloblastoma survivors also suffered from hypertension, which might explain the greater risk of stroke within the group. Further, female survivors on average had a significantly lower number of pregnancies compared to the general population. These results indicate that patients who were diagnosed with medulloblastoma in childhood have a high risk of morbidity or serious disabilities even after successful treatment. Given the fact that 81.3% of patients included in this study had received craniospinal irradiation, the toxicity and risks of high-dose radiation treatments warrants a reassessment. Strategies to reduce late-onset side effects among these patients, along with risk stratification to restrict highly toxic treatments, can improve the survivability and quality of life of childhood medulloblastoma survivors later in life. In addition, early counseling regarding premature ovarian failure and financial support for family planning and oocyte banking following therapy could ensure an improved reproductive and overall health of female survivors. Current treatments for medulloblastoma result in unacceptable long-term side effects and warrant an urgent re-evaluation of the use of high-dose radiation therapy through better molecular classification.